welcome back everyone i'm hello goddess and this is another pick a card video which is going to be all about who is a person that is in love with you and is having really strong feelings towards you so we've got three options again and this reading is going to be quite detailed i'm going to be talking about your connection um most probably how you guys met and if anything else or any information is going to strike out or my guides are going to tell me about your dynamic so that's going to be in this video so we've got three options the first option is the star card on the very left then we have the world card in the middle which is the second option and lastly we've got a wheel of fortune is a wheel of fortune on the very right which is the third and the last option so you can definitely choose more than one option if you wish to and um yeah but only choose the ones that are really truly calling out to you the most and with that being said um let's move on to the first option the star card okay so if you've chosen the option number one these are the cards that i got for you I have the Seven of Wands, then we have the Magician, Temperance, Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, then we have Queen of Swords, Three of Swords, the Empress, King of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. So number five and the number three are really significant for you guys, but especially the number five. So this video is going to be all about who is the person that is in love with you and um i'm gonna be talking about who this individual is um their characteristics their personality um uh, maybe even about their appearance whatever comes through about this person and um also i would try to get to know what's going on between you two your dynamic with this person and let's see what do we get um okay somebody could be somebody is really emotional but this person is not letting their emotions run them anymore. It's like somebody's been hurt, somebody's been broken, somebody's been shattered, but this person has decided that they're not going to stay in this anymore. They're going to move on from this. They're going to get to like a better place. And like, I feel like this person has been struggling a lot when it comes to their emotions and when it comes to their feelings. And this person is not going to let their feelings run them anymore. So although this person is very much hurt and so um, overwhelmed by this pain that they have been going through, but still this person has decided to move away from this. And I feel like it could be like, I don't know, somebody maybe got hurt by you. Maybe you didn't do anything intentionally, but it's almost like your words or something you did um could have hurt this person and i'm getting very specific this is very specific do not apply to your situation and go in like that guilt mode i don't want that to happen like i really don't um this is very specific if you if you know somebody or if you have an inclination that somebody is really deeply hurt because of something you probably said or you would just know okay i don't think I'm somebody to tell you I think you would already know that if that has happened and if it has not and you have no clue about it like even before like even before watching this video you had no clue then don't apply to your situation and that's what I would say yeah so this person regardless of what happened this person has decided to move on because this person does not see any point in being here um I can see that and also at the same time they're also trying to act a bit strong but believing this person is not they're so hurt and they're so broken but this person is still moving on and they're trying to show on the outside that they're strong but they're not as i said already this person could be a cancer or could also be a libra I'm also getting there's something about the color blue and red. Um, somebody has really dark hair. I see that too. This person could also be traveling for some of you. Now, if this person is not traveling, they're really focused on themselves and their career mainly. Like that's the, um, that's the only thing that this person is trying to put all of their energy and attention onto. Um, that's what I do feel. 
and um let's see yeah like i don't see this person crying because i feel like this person has cried a lot already yeah so i feel like they've been there you know it's kind of like i've been there and i've done that and they just don't want to be there anymore that's what i feel somebody could also be a scorpio um again there is all you know this entire pile is immersed fully immersed with the energy of moving on the energy of shifting the energy of looking forward to something new um letting go of the past even if you are holding on to so 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 strongly still this energy is like the most prominent energy in this entire pile is about moving on is about going towards the new leaving the old behind and this is what what is happening in the even if it's you or if it's your person like it could even be you he was doing that but the person that is in love with you again the fact that this person has appeared in this reading regardless of what they're doing they still do have feelings for you and that two quite strong feelings um whatever happened between you two it was kind of like the end of it for some reason it could not be justified i don't know what happened really but something happened and it was just um like it broke everything and there was just no no way to fix that no way to rectify that no way to reverse that and that's why if you guys were in a relationship um it's for those of you or if you were in a very deep connection it's for those of you if you are not like if you were not this person was probably a new um person who entered your life or something like that like you were, if you were just simply not that close then i feel like the situation is going to be a bit different um i'm also getting that certain things were not clear in this entire relationship and i also do now even if it was a relationship or if it if it was not i'm just going to call it a connection certain things were not clear certain things were hidden and there were a lot of factors which were like working behind the scenes which you were not even aware of like um you did not understand this person for long enough or they did not understand you i feel like there was um there was a lot of things working against this connection than working for this connection and one of those things or one of those factors should i say was that there was not that level of understanding like you both were not on the same level and i don't mean like one of you was like lower or higher than the other i don't mean that what i mean is that you both were not on the same page and that's why you your thinking and your understanding could not align and another thing i'm getting is a little bit creepy but it's almost like there's this one person who could not see the truth from the beginning like they thought this was the truth but the truth was something else or they perceived something to be true which was not true or which turned out to be not true or false at the end so that's another thing and that is being kind of um that's kind of um being talked about in the context of somebody's personality or like their persona like somebody somebody thought that the other person was a certain type of type of an individual but they were not like it was just not true that's what i'm getting also um another thing also that i'm sensing over here is somebody could also have a strong fire sign somewhere prominently placed um in i don't know why i'm hearing scorpio but fire signs are aries leo sagittarius okay so the person the person that is that is in question here is somebody who is um okay let me see this person is somebody who is not 
being true to themselves right now. That's what I would say. Um, maybe the people around them or on social media, this person is just simply not being true. So do not trust or do not believe anything you see or hear, at least at this point of time, when it comes to this person or when it comes to this connection. Because I feel like the information that you're going to receive or the information that you're going to interpret, if you do come across something, whether it be a picture or anything else, is just going to be a misleading sort of information. It's not going to be true. Rather than that, I would advise you to trust your gut feeling. Um, I also do want to say that I think I don't have to say it. Um, it kind of goes without saying because this person has come up in this reading, which is so much more than just being a crush or like obsessing over someone. So it kind of goes without saying, but I might as well just say it. This person still has a soft spot for you if you think that they don't. Or if you think that, I don't know, like, um, yeah, it's like I can hear somebody like, relaxing or feeling relieved almost this person has not changed how they feel about you that's never going to change um this person also wants to say to you that they're never going to change or like the image of you or the perception of you that they have had in their mind is always going to be the same and it's always going to be very close to their heart but what has changed is something that is within them. It's kind of like this person does not want to stay in that loop, you know, because it's not really helping this person. That's what I'm getting. Somebody's sun sign could be in a far sign, to be exact. Um, yes. This person could also be talking about you to someone, or maybe did they recently talked about you to somebody or they're thinking about it maybe they've not done it already but they're thinking about it so that could be the case as well or you have talked about this person to somebody um but that's what i'm getting that somehow some way this connection is being discussed in the open i'm hearing um another thing i'm getting over here is that if somebody's keeping their silence and they have a lot of reasons to do that and they feel that all of those reasons are valid and they don't feel the need to break their silence and they feel that they should protect themselves i feel like this person has there's somebody who feels like life has been really tough on them lately and they're not going to let this weight that is sitting on their shoulders already get um even more like heavier I'm also getting that this person, if they said some things to you which were hurtful or um, like, I don't know, if this, this person acted in a way which kind of confused you a little bit too much and you were, you were kind of questioning things and um, basically this person is just trying to protect themselves at this point and they're kind of saying to everybody that's, um, I don't know, trying to invade their space or trying to um like i don't know this person is like i don't care about anyone i don't give a damn and i just care about myself okay so i feel like this person is being ultra defensive about themselves and um that could be one of the reasons why if this person has blocked you that's the reason why um or if this person is simply not being honest or whatever the case may be everything they're saying or the way they're acting is um is because this person does not want their mental peace to be hampered again that's kind of what i'm sensing somebody could also be a leo um yeah and that's what i'm getting this person is this person is not doing good if i have to tell you like clearly and honestly um and that's why this person is acting this way whatever way they're acting that's because of you know okay this is so interesting some like on the inside this person is weak this person is hurt and this person is really sensitive um 
almost instantly triggered if something comes up. And that's why this person is acting in such a irrational way if they are or in such a weird manner if they are, according to you. Um, again, this feels very specific. Um, so if it doesn't apply to you, don't try to make it apply to your situation. Um, but on the other hand, on the outside, it like this person is kind of trying to, maybe they're pretending, um, but this person is trying to not let people know that and they're being ultra defensive and they're being so um, detached and it's almost like this person was never even emotionally involved in this certain situation so it's kind of like this person is not being true to themselves and it's not helping this person in the long term in the short term yes definitely it is um, and that's why this person is trying to get away from this situation and trying to kind of um, get past this entire phase where they're so hurt. That could be the thing as well. Yeah, I feel like this person could also have felt betrayed. Or maybe they have betrayed someone. And the reason, they don't have any reason for it. They just, they don't want themselves to get hurt. That's the only reason. So, if they have hurt someone, there you go. If they... If they got hurt, then that's why this person is being so defensive. Also, I feel like this person is not looking back. When they're moving on from this situation, when they're trying to move away as far as possible, and they're, um, like, I don't know, they're just trying to get to a new place. And that's happening because this person feels like there's nothing left in this situation at this point. They genuinely believe that... Nothing can be done in this situation. Nothing can help this situation or this connection. And it's over. It's done. It's dead. The entire situation is dead to this person. And that's why this person is... I don't know if I'm coming off as like just too honest or too blunt. I'm sorry. But I'm just trying to be as clear with the messages as possible. And it's so weird because I'm getting messages left and right. And they're just being bombarded. Um, but also at the same time, I just realized that these messages could be really hurting someone. So if they are, I'm really sorry. But that is what I'm hearing. Yeah, so this person is closing the curtain on this entire situation, on this entire chapter. And they're never ever going to look at this again. Or at least they hope that they don't. And they don't feel the need to or... They don't wish to do that in the future because this person wants to protect themselves and they know that nothing could come out of it. Like Nothing is going to come out of the situation which is going to um, help the situation, like help them or, um, yeah, you know, it's kind of like this person feels that this entire situation is helpless at this point. Um, yeah, so they have only one option and that is to move forward. Um, and because we have the temperance card, so this person is healing, you know, with time they're healing, they're forgetting, not forgetting, like literally right now, but they're trying to, they're trying their best to, they're trying not to get triggered, they're trying not to go into the fight or flight mode. I mean, they are kind of in the flight mode, but you know what I'm trying to say. So this person, as we can see with the Seven of Wands, which is the very first card, this person is super defensive. They feel that something will come along very soon, which is going to hamper their peace again. They feel that way, and they're in this fearful mindset. Um, but this person is also healing with time, um, but slowly. That's happening quite slowly. And they're so lonely. Um, yes. So all of that is happening. This situation is a complete mess or should i say it was messy before maybe it's kind of starting to sort out maybe on your end and their end as well um yeah so sometimes some people are just not meant to stay in our lives because it's not good for them it's not good for us so as we have the ace of swords sometimes it is all right and it is probably the best thing for us if we do cut some connections out and it's going to be helpful for them and for us as well 
so with that we come to the end of this file and if you liked this video please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again for watching hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time Okay, so if you've chosen the option number second, um, these are the cards that I got for you. I have Page of Coins, then we have the Hanged Man, King of Cups, King of Spares, Page of Spares, then we have the Devil, um, the Five of Coins, King of Coins, the Magician, and lastly we've got Five of Spares for you all. So those are the cards that I got for you. And now let's see what do we have for the messages in regards to who is the person that is in love with you. And I'm going to talk about this person in detail as well as your connection with this person and what's going on with me too um also possibly what can happen or what can lead um like what kind of consequences will occur so let's see what do we have for you guys okay this person this person is at a crossroads when it comes to you they want to take a step they want to make a move but they are afraid. They are fearful. I feel like you don't know about this person. At least not directly. You could have a clue. You could have an inclination. You could have a gut feeling. But you do not know about this person. This person is heavily attracted to you. With the devil card. Um, but I feel like even if you know that this person is in love with you. Or they do like you a lot. You still don't know anything about this person because I feel like this person is a fairly new person in your life. And this connection could also be um, an unexplode, I want to say. Or even if they have been present in your life for long enough, you are still not close to this person. Um, that's what I'm getting. So that's why this person is at a crossroads. But they are very attracted to you. And that's one of the biggest reasons why this person is literally on fire um, when they think about you. So this person is kind of acting like the knight of wands sometimes. Or you can see in the devil card, there's fire all around. And this, um, the devil in itself talks about like the passion, the intensity, the fiery side of the connection, you know, kind of all of that stuff. And when somebody's so obsessed with you to the point where it kind of becomes toxic. Um, so yeah. That's how this person feels. Um, I'm kind of surprised that this person is in this reading because this is about a love reading and we're not really talking about obsession or we're not really talking about attraction. So these two are like completely different concepts. So I'm kind of surprised. So either this person does not know how deep their feelings run for you or maybe you are perceiving this person in that light that they are just attracted to you. But there's so much more than that. That could be the case. Now, this person could be at a distance from you or you both are not at all close. Even if you are close to this person, like if there is not much distance between you two, you know, I'm talking about the physical distance. Still, you both are just simply not close. And this person is... This person cannot make a move right now, at least not for some time, because I feel like this person is in that zone where they're completely stuck. We have the Hanged Man as the second card, and we also have Five of Spares as the last card. And I feel that this person, they do want to be a part of this connection and they do want to come towards you, but I feel like there are lots of things which are being a hindrance and which are being being an obstacle for this person and there are lots of things that this person has to sort out when like if they do want to come towards you they are there are lots of there are lots of things which they will have to keep in mind or sort out before coming towards you yeah that's another thing that i'm getting so this person's kind of hiding right now they're not really they're not going to reveal first of all I, let me just say that um, at least not right now. This person does not feel ready. And they also feel... They feel really nervous and anxious when they think about this connection. Um, although I would say that this person is decently confident. But it, this... But the taking... Um, 
I don't know, taking a step towards you or taking a step towards this connection, um, it's not really about confidence. Like, confidence is not the only thing. There are lots of other factors which are floating around in this person's mind or in their environment that they need to take care of. Or maybe when they look at you, they have a lot of things that they start to question and that's why this person is not able to make a move um yeah that could be the case i don't see a third party yet that could also be the reason why this person is not able to make a move um also i feel like this person is um they're not very don't be scared by the devil this person is not very manipulative or anything i don't sense that kind of vibe from this person they're just at a crossroads and they don't know what to do and even we have the magician, which is like a bit scary as well because the magician is so manipulative. Well, we'll see about that. So I feel like this person is, you know what? Okay, this is so interesting. I um, I don't know, I'm feeling excited. This is the type of a connection which is, which is, which has not even begun to be honest. So for a lot of you, you might not even be aware of who this individual is. You might not even be aware of who this person is and what do they feel for you. And um, as far as as far as this person knows, like when it comes to you, when it comes to this connection, they feel that the connection is not reciprocated. You certainly don't feel anything for this person or um, they feel that it's not equal like it's not the way they want it to be they know that you are not on the same page when with this person that's what they feel yeah so i feel like that could be the reason why this person is holding themselves back or staying silent should i say this person is keeping their silence not speaking not confessing not expressing because this person feels that the connection is not going to be reciprocated and you're probably not going to be able to understand. You're not going to be... They just feel like the connection is... Like if they do take a step or if they do express, things are not going to go in their favor. That's how they feel. Purely based off of their um, mental analysis. That's how they feel. And... I don't know. I'm hearing somebody say, like, for the most part, they're not wrong. So maybe it's not reciprocated. Maybe it's not both-sided. Maybe it's just this person in this equation. That's what I do see. Um, this person could be a Leo, could be... Yeah, for some of you. It could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah. Um, this person also, now if this person knows you, and like if they feel that you are with someone already or you're involved with somebody, in that case, this person's going to have an even harder time breaking their shell and coming out of it and getting into the possibility of expressing something to you. So even if this person is hiding things with the devil or being manipulative with the magician or not speaking the truth. They have valid reasons for it. So that's what I'm getting. But this person is... They're quite reliable as an individual. Like they're quite... I feel like this person, if you get to know them, and if you start talking talking with this person you're going to be able to trust them. Like the people who are very close to this person um, do know that this person is trustable and reliable. Um, they're not the type of a person who's going to stab you in the back or, you know, anything of that kind. Also, I feel like this person could have a query somewhere in their birth chart. And also at the same time, this person is... This person is really... Um, lucky when it comes to money I feel I don't know somehow they make a lot of money and like they're just really not that they're just 
good with it but i feel like this person has a lot because they are kind of blessed in that aspect also So this person could have born into a rich family or something, or they probably did make their own money. Whatever the case may be, they're just blessed in that aspect. That's what I do want to say. Um, yeah, I don't see this person speaking a lot, to be honest. Um, and we all know the reasons for that, but I don't know if this person is an introvert or something. Um, but if they are... They're still observing everything. They're observing things and... Um, yeah. This person is not feeling hopeless, though, when it comes to you. They're not hopeless. They're just in the middle. Like, they are in a lot of confusion and they're in dilemma and they're in... They're at a crossroads, as I said. So I feel like if this energy or if this situation is going to continue... For a long time, this person is going to back out. Like, maybe not right now, but after some time. This person could have met you at some sort of an event or some place. Again, this person saw you from a distance. I feel you and this person did not really interact that much. And... Yeah, that's kind of the vibe here. And I feel like you don't know this person that well. I think you know nothing about this person yet. Maybe like things from the surface level, but nothing on a deeper level. You don't. Um, yeah. But they kind of know stuff about you. I don't know how, but they do. Um, also, I feel like you're not very good at observing people. You are kind of the kind, you're the type of person who kind of just gets lost um, in what they're doing and they don't really pay attention to the people around them. Like you are not that type of a person to really observe somebody or observe the surroundings. But I feel like your person is. The person that we are talking about in this pile is the type of person who can really observe people very well. Um, so that's what I'm getting. This person could also be slightly older than you. Not slightly. For some of you, this person is really old. Not not that really old, but like there is a significant age gap. For others of you, there is ga there is age gap, but it's not like a it's not a lot. You know, that's what I'm getting. Yeah. Okay, something could have happened in in the month of November or October when it comes to this person. Or they did change their perception of you in that month somehow. That's another thing. Yeah. Let me see what else. Okay. I'm also hearing um, whatever you can see from wherever you are at right now, you cannot see the entire situation. It's kind of like there is more than what meets the eye. You know, I'm hearing that. So although you can, you can probably presume a couple of things about this person or about what they're going to do and stuff like that, you still don't know anything and you still cannot predict or you still cannot assume the right thing i feel that whatever you're presuming or assuming from like whatever point of view it's not it's not the truth it's not even close to the truth maybe you are assuming the opposite of what's really happening or what's about to happen i feel for some of you yes somebody's name could start with I'm hearing P, I'm also getting D and an S, I'm also getting a K and, and a B. So those are the initials, could be your first name and last name or theirs, and that's what I'm getting. Somebody also has a pet. Yeah, or you're going to 
adopt a pet soon? Or you recently saw a cat? That's another thing. Also, there's something about a particular insect. I don't know if it's beetle, but there's this particular insect that you're going to see. And something about that. I don't know. They're kind of um, being representative of the good luck, you know. So that could be for some of you. Now, if this person lives far away from you, I don't know if this person has decided to express something. As I said, not right now. They're not ready yet. And they are at a heavy. Um, like they're stuck in a situation where they know they don't know how to get out of. Like they're kind of facing a lot of confusion. But this person is coming towards you if there is distance. They're going to close the gap, I'm hearing. Um, this person is going to travel soon. They're going to take some decisions which are going to be purely based off of impulse. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm going to finish all this part right here for some reason. I feel like I should not talk more than this. But all I'm going to say is at last that this person is going to close the gap and they're coming. Um, also, this person is a bit hard to read with the magician here, so do keep that in mind. Um, you are probably not going to be able to read this person, and they're kind of good at hiding what they feel on the inside. So, I'm going to finish off this part right here. So, if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up, and also subscribe down below if you haven't already. And do keep in mind that this is a general reading. So, if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can definitely email me, and my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again for watching. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time. Okay, so if you've chosen the last group or the third option, these are the cards that I got for you. I have Ace of Wands, then we have Four of Pentacles, King of Cups, then we have Six of Swords, Knight of Cups, the Hermit, then we have Seven of Swords, Five of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Ten of Cups at last. So those are the cards that I got for you. And now let's see what do we have for the messages in regards to... Um, who is the person that is in love with you and I'm gonna talk about this person in detail and also what's going on with me too and what kind of dynamic do you guys share so that's going to be in this video and let's see what do we have for this topic and let's see what do our guides have for us so right off the bat okay um, what I'm sensing is that your person is your person thinks of you very highly like they think of you as somebody who is quite ideal like they see you as an ideal person um whoever is in love with you also i feel like this person is having lots of thoughts in regards to you and they're not true yeah but it's not like they're thinking bad about you or something like that it's just that this person feels that, um, like, they just simply don't have a lot of hopeful thoughts when it comes to this connection. Um, yeah, it's kind of like that. Number nine could be very significant to someone. That seems to be like a... And also number six. Yeah, so it's almost like this person is having lots of negative thoughts when it comes to you, when it comes to this connection. But they're not thinking bad about you. They are thinking very highly of you, whoever this individual is. I'm also hearing the word misery. And for a lot of you, or should I say for probably every single one of you, if this story does apply to your situation, you are not aware of this person's misery. Like, you are not aware of how, um, like, how confused or how much of a dark period this person is going through in their life right now. I feel like you just don't know about all of that. You just, you just simply are not aware. Or maybe you're just not in contact. Who knows? Um, but it's kind of like you are turned the other way. You're focusing on something else. You're not really focused on this person. Now, I'm going to talk about, for a little bit, 
um, in regards to how this person perceives you. What do they think about you? And what do they think, like, what do they believe to be true about you? I feel like this person thinks of you as somebody who is, um, who is not very, not the kind of a person who would overshare things. Like, you kind of like to keep things to yourself. You like to mind your own business and you also do not like to interfere in other people's, um, things and you're not, you know, you're not one of those people who are, like, really flashy or, like, you would go and have information about everyone or you would just go and make friends with everyone you are not that i'm not getting that this person thinks that you're not sociable enough but you're just not for some reason this person sees you as an ideal person they're attracted to you because we have the ace of wands as the very first card so obviously this person is attracted to you and i feel like that attraction was at first sight it's not after this person got to know you or things happened and you both connected it was at first sight when this person saw you they felt attracted to you um the attraction was instant um but the way this person feels towards you is very um like they think you are you're very balanced as an individual um you're not a highly extroverted person but you're not a highly introverted person you're somewhere in the middle um you don't interfere in the people's situations and you kind of are if i have to be honest you kind of like to keep to yourself that's kind of how it feels um yeah and i also feel like this person i don't know how much they know about your life but this person sees you as somebody who is also doing well in their career or um, like you're doing good in our life. Like you have things sorted out. You don't need to. Um, yeah, it's kind of like this person feels like you have everything sorted out. Or everything is under your control, at least in your life. Um, that's how it seems on the outside. And they also feel like they are not worthy of your attention. That's so bad. <laughs> I don't know who feels that way. Um, I'm pretty sure you're not making this person feel this way. This is just them overthinking and overanalyzing stuff. But this person feels like they're just simply not worthy of your attention. Okay. Um, so they have clearly put you on a pedestal. This person could be a fairly new person in your life. Maybe you do not have a history with them. Maybe you have not really experienced a lot with this person or you don't know a lot about this person as well. So that could be the case for a lot of you. I'm hearing the song Summertime Sadness or something about summer, you know. But listen to that song. Maybe that's going to resonate with you, speak to you in some way. Yeah, certainly. Um, yes, so I feel that this person is, this person feels like it's really risky, um, pursuing you, thinking about you is risky for some reason. This person does not feel the um stability in this idea this person does not feel the the surety is that even a word i don't know but they don't feel like um their hope or their expectations are going to be met in the future when it comes to you like if they keep dreaming about this they're not too sure if it's going to take place um if you both are going to come together. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay. And let's see what else. Yeah, this person... Okay, there's nothing wrong with this person keeping, keeping you on a pedestal. In fact, in my opinion, everybody should. Um... And that's how we're supposed to be treated. That's how everyone deserves to be treated. But 
putting yourself so low is just not right. And I feel like this person is not giving themselves, like, I don't know, enough respect. This person is not thinking about them, thinking about themselves in a, like, in a decent way. I don't know how to even put it. You could have met this person. You know what? This person could just simply be an option to you. That's what I'm feeling. You're probably an option to this person. Or you're probably one of the people who came in our life and they probably went by. And you thought about them for some time. Now, this is how this person perceives you. This is how they think you have um, kind of thought about this entire situation. They feel that you think of this person to be an option and you don't really uh, put any sort of importance or emphasis on this person or on this connection as such. I don't know what's the reality though because I'm kind of looking at this entire reading from this person's eyes. So I can only talk about that at least right now. Um, yeah. I don't know what's really going on with you. Okay, this person is in love with you. I'm going to be very honest. And the reason why I say that is because, I mean, I don't know what happened with the other two piles. I don't really rem remember for some reason. I'm just too lost in this one. Um, but I would say for sure that um, as this feels quite sincere, to be honest. This feels so, um, like, I don't know, I've got the Ace of Cups, I have the Ace of Wands, and this person's love for you, their feelings for you just seem so, like they are coming from such a pure place. It's not mixed with attraction or obsession or something that's fleeting something that's going to fade away after a point of time or i don't know it's not one of those things this is something solid honestly speaking um this person could also appear in your dreams now the level to which this person is um in, like the level at which they feel for you i was actually hearing this person is like they've been hit by the cupid um so you know it's kind of like that this person is literally hit um and that's how they feel the feeling is so intense and so um powerful that this person is just kind of shaken by it to be honest um and this person I'm really, I would be really surprised if you have no clue about who this person is. Like, if you have reached this point in the reading and you have no clue who this person is. The reason why I say that is because I'm not saying that this person has expressed something to you. Um, that's going to be different for every single one of you guys. But I would certainly say that for this person, um, like, their feelings are so strong that I don't know nothing can stop it it's kind of like you would know some way or the other that something is up with this person like something is going on um either you're going to hear this person's name everywhere think to yourself if you still cannot pinpoint who this person is think to yourself have you been hearing somebody's name for the past couple of weeks um, the fact that you stumbled upon this reading, you're watching this reading, is because the universe or your guides or your angels, they do want to let you know about somebody who is out there thinking about you or is probably madly in love with you. So who is the person you've been thinking about randomly at random times of the day um, just for no reason? Um, who is appearing in your dreams? One thing I've figured out lately is if you have... Like somebody, um, okay, suppose there is somebody in your um, life who is fitting this criteria. Um, and that person is the one that your guides are talking about. That person is indeed in love with you. And they have a name which is just way too common, you know. Um, 
like you met three to four people in your entire lifetime、um, with that specific name. Like they could have a common first name, middle name, or last name. What interesting thing could have could happen? And this I've no- noticed recently is you will have a dream, and you can see any one of those people who have the common name. But it's not really directing towards that person that has that name. It's directing towards this person、um, that is in love with you,、um, because they they all have a common name.、Um, your guides or your angels are trying to kind of bring you back to that person. I don't know if I was able to clear it,、um, but it's kind of like either you will hear this person's name or you will see somebody who has a similar name. You know, that's what I was talking about. A similar name, or maybe even the exact same name, or、um, you will see this person coming up in conversations again and again. Somehow you will be led back to this person, and that's how you know that they are the one that I've been talked about in this reading. So、um, yeah, that was quite、um, long. So yeah, but this is hidden, if I be honest. Because we have the hermit. The hermit is somebody who is not yet,、um, who has not come into the light yet. Okay, and because we have the seven of swords, so the seven of swords is not a particularly very good card. I'm not like a huge fan of it. Um, but I would say that the seven of swords and the hermit kind of go like hand in hand. Especially in this reading, so I feel like the fact that this person is still keeping their feelings to themselves, they have probably, you know what? I would even say that they've probably not expressed it to anyone, like not even their friends, not even the closest people. You know, the people who are the closest to them. I don't think this person has expressed it to anyone. Um, even if somebody knows, they probably know. Um, by their body language or their expressions or、um, just what they've read on the outside from the surface level, but I feel like this person has never really sat down with someone and discussed about you. That's not what is in the reading, at least.、Um, that's why I can say. And I feel like this person is not even thinking of doing that. Like that's not even one of the things on this person's mind.、Um, yeah. So the seven of swords could just simply talk about this person keeping it in, keeping all of their feelings in, and trying to hide from everybody, and even you, around this time. Now, these kinds of feelings, um, I'm I don't know. I'm just hearing this one dialogue. I believe it's from a movie, um, and it says, "Love is the kind of a feeling. Love is a powerful feeling." And you should never keep it in because it can make you sick, and that's exactly how I feel、um, in this reading, especially. Okay, so I don't know what happened. I've just had to readjust. But going back to the message, so I feel like whoever this individual is, I don't know how long is this person going to be able to keep it all in, like their feelings and、um, all the things they're feeling towards you. I don't know how long is this person going to be able to do that. I don't even know if this person is going to be able to keep it in for long enough, because it's it's too much, you know. It's too much to hide and too much to process. Maybe it's too much to process for you. Maybe if you know all of this, ah,、uh, maybe you're listening to this reading and you're like, okay, this is just too intense. This is too crazy. I did not expect this. So. That could be for some of you. That reaction could be for some of you. For some of you, you could、um, already be aware of this on some level. You probably had,、um, you probably have had known this for some time already, and、um, like it was already in the back of your mind. But that's not going to be the case for everyone. And this person feels like you have no clue about this. That's how they feel.、Um, I hope this person. Um, like, 
gets to the part where they feel all right about themselves and about um like whatever is needed because i just kind of feel bad for this person i don't know they're just so they're just so nice i don't know um i kind of feel bad um never mind i'm not like putting anything on you okay don't be like don't do anything don't take any action don't um yeah don't do anything because of this reading or because of what i said it's totally up to you it's totally um on you what you want um yeah because at the end of the day you have to live with your choices okay so choose wisely choose um what is best for you and yeah then come then comes the part where we think about other people okay so if you liked this video and resonated with it on some level um do make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below um and with that being said i'm gonna end it here so um thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you guys next time bye